Granite Xhaka has been making headlines across the world recently for being the unsung hero behind Bayer Leverkusen's title winning season this year under Xabi Alonso's direction. He's been forged into an integral role in the Leverkusen team starting every single league match this season. However, just over a year ago he was stripped of the armband at Arsenal, hated by his own fans and ultimately exiled from his own club. So how did Granit Xhaka go from being in ruins, now being one of the Bundesliga's best midfielders? So let's look at the career revival of Granit Xhaka. Prior to becoming a gunner, Granit Xhaka had his fair share of game time at the top levels in Europe. He made his pro debut for his hometown club FC Basel back in Switzerland, and he was so good there that he made his international debut at just 18 years old. From the early age, he was the star midfielder at FC Basel back in the early 2010s. And after two years and three trophies later in the first team, he made a move into Germany to start for Borussia and Gladbach in 2012. Granit Xhaka went on to spend four seasons there and built up his reputation in the football landscape. On average, he started almost 90% of the games there and had a very important role in the midfield in those four years. He led the team as their captain for almost his whole stint in Gladbach. His defensive abilities were insanely good for his age and on top of that he knew how to be a proper playmaker, being able to thread those passes and create opportunities with no problems at all. In total he had 9 goals and 8 assists over his in Gladbach career, which 10 years ago was pretty high for a defensive midfielder. After an outstanding 2015-16 season in the Bundesliga, 23-year-old Granit Xhaka signed for Arsenal for 30 million euros, the third most expensive signing at the time. The hype around this signing for Arsenal fans was pretty insane. Granit Xhaka, and what I like about this guy, he's not scared of a tackle, he's not scared of getting stuck in. And everyone knew he had the ability to compete in the Premier League, but the bigger question however would be if Granit Xhaka would fit into the Arsenal team. A few months after signing, Granit Xhaka made his Arsenal debut in the opening match of the Premier League of the 2016-17 season, where Arsenal played against Liverpool, beating them 4-3. And as the season unfolded, fans began to see the true character of Granit Xhaka. He scored his first goal in September. Oh, that's absolutely sublime! Pick that one out! Granit Xhaka! An absolute thunderbolt from 25 yards out against Hull City. And from there, he completely won over the club. Well, almost. He continued to drop some crazy performances for Arsenal and was very solid throughout his debut season, contributing to 11 clean sheets and having just over an 80% tackle completion rate. These stats are not bad at all, however there is one element of his game that I am not yet to mention, and this quote sums it up pretty well. Granit Xhaka is too hot headed and a terrible tackler. Yes, Granit Xhaka has tremendous ability in the defensive side of the game, which we saw a lot of in the latter half of the 2016-17 season, but sometimes his tackles were absolutely brutal. His first red card came against Swansea. And he would have a repeat offense against Burnley, which racked him up a total of 14 cards in all competitions to the 2016-17 year, making him one of the highest disciplined players in the Arsenal squad. But besides his aggressive tendencies, he started to grow into one of the most important parts of Arsenal's midfield. And it started with the 2017-18 and 2018-19 campaigns. The beginning of the year for him was actually quite special. Xhaka was the centerpiece of Arsenal's FA Cup push in 2017 and he played a huge role in securing a victory of Chelsea in the final. Granit Xhaka's first Arsenal trophy. The same could be said about his performance in the Community Shield as well, beating Chelsea again. One thing that changed for Xhaka this year was the fact that he was able to create so many more assists than he was the previous year and being even more solid defensively. Xhaka was able to have 11 goal contributions in the 2017-18 season which was pretty insane for a CDM under Arsene Wenger. And as the season went on, Xhaka became a modern fan favorite for Arsenal, mainly because of him scoring screamer goals and making some of the most deadly tackles. He was the modern embodiment of the Son Dyche playstyle. Some of his best came against Liverpool in 2017-18. This goal was an absolute worldie. And his free kick ability isn't too bad either, scoring two crazy goals against Newcastle and Crystal Palace at the beginning of the 2018-19 season. Clearly things were getting really good for Granit Xhaka at Arsenal. He was loved by the fans, was a mainstay player in the starting 11, and was on top of the world. However, as the old saying goes, every peak has its valley. The beginning of the 2019-20 season for Granit Xhaka was not the best, as his performances had overall taken a hit, and he just was not playing to his full ability. Obviously there's always going to be haters for anything no matter what, but as Xhaka continued to give out subpar performances, fans began to turn on him and he became the center of lots of criticism. The height of this hatred came in October against Crystal Palace where Xhaka was subbed off in the 61st minute. He got quite angry and the fans began to cheer when he was called to be subbed off. To make matters worse, he was booed as he walked off the pitch. And he responded to this by making several sarcastic gestures. He also removed his jersey before walking straight down the tunnel which was a clear sign of disrespect. After this incident he was met with even more criticism and rightfully so. A few weeks later the club announced he was going to be receiving some counselling. 
that was supposed to help, but I hate to say it, his situation at Arsenal did not get any better. As after consideration from the club and some more not so amazing performances from Xhaka, he was then stripped of the captain armband and was replaced by Aubameyang. This whole public blow up was a strange period in his career as it was generally out of character for him. Weeks after this, he went on a bit of a hiatus from the first team and pulled back from team trainings. But eventually, Xhaka came out releasing a statement basically apologizing for everything, which brought light to the reality of the situation and what the fans were saying to him. Amid all this, an exit from Arsenal was still looking very likely, as he became one of the club's greatest villains. Arsenal were sitting in 11th place around the January transfer window and the morale of the club was totally in the bin. But a saving grace would be joining the club, in the likes of Mikel Arteta. Once Arteta joined the club, he completely turned around Granite Xhaka's Arsenal career. The 2020-21 season was an absolute revival of Granite Xhaka's career. Arteta reintroduced him into the Arsenal squad as a key player back into that central role, and he was finally given a chance to play consistently in the starting 11. Arsenal finally got to see the old Granite Xhaka again, and he won the fans over completely when they saw his performance against Chelsea in the middle of the year. Granite Xhaka went absolutely crazy, and not only was he impenetrable in defense, he scored this cracking free kick on Edouard Mendy. After this, Xhaka only continued to impress in the Premier League, and Xhaka only had one man to thank for the resurgence in his form. That man is Mikel Arteta. Xhaka said himself that, He turned me around and gave me a second chance, and he showed me, he trusted me, and I tried to give him everything back. Eventually, Arsenal also made it to the FA Cup Final against Chelsea, and Xhaka would be selected to start where he would absolutely ball out in this game, one of his most iconic performances at the time. And he won his second FA Cup, Arsenal's 14th, until Aubameyang dropped it. But overall, the next seasons blended into the last, and Xhaka continued to build on his form. It became very apparent in the 2021-22 season that Granite Xhaka had been really putting in the work, and he was approaching that world-class level as a CDM. As he went from averaging almost a 39% tackle success rate and 1-2 blocks every game in 2021, to a 50% tackle success rate and around 3 blocks a game. Some very impressive growth even at the age of 28, but he wouldn't hit his peak until 2023. The beginning of the year was sensational for Granit Xhaka as he was a standout player in the Arsenal team and really showed why he deserved a spot in the starting 11. He scored his first goal of the season on the opening day and from there his performance had just started to snowball. He got better and better almost every game. He was integral in keeping Arsenal alive in the title race coming in clutch numerous times like against Southampton scoring the only goal of their draw and against Chelsea where he provided 2 assists helping Arsenal win 3-1. At the end of the year, he had made 47 appearances and scored 9 goals and 7 assists. He was recognized as one of Mikel Arteta's most trusted players and played a pivotal role in pushing Manchester City to the end of the Premier League title race, taking Arsenal with him to the final day. And even though from an outside perspective it looked like everything was going well for him, there was lots of speculation on the inside of the club on whether he would remain with the team heading into the future. Lots of fans were campaigning for Xhaka to stay and continue his Arsenal legacy. Even his wife thought it would have been better to keep playing with the Gunners, but there were better offers on the table, and the project he was building over in Germany looked much more attractive compared to Arsenal. On the 6th of July 2023, Xhaka would sign for Bayer Leverkusen on a 5 year contract for a fee of 25 million euros, and a month later, he finally made his debut. His first appearance was in the DFB Pokal, where he would play a full 90 against a 5th division team, and Xhaka completely dominated the midfield. You see, when Granit Xhaka joined Leverkusen, he was immediately thrown into a demanding key role in the team as a holding midfielder and sometimes a playmaker. He has played almost every single game for Leverkusen season and throughout their entire unbeaten run. Missing just one game from a suspension and two games in Europa League, he's been Mr. Consistent. Most players would be gassed after playing this much. Just look what happened to Pedri when he was playing almost the same volume of matches. Xhaka, on the other hand, continues to outperform. His stats this season have been on another level. His tackle succession is just over 74%, and he has won almost 50% of his duels. He's also made some of the most recoveries in the Bundesliga this season, along with some crazy passing stats like a 92% passing accuracy and 39 chances created this season from defensive midfield. He scored his first goal of the year against Mainz 05, which was an absolute peach. But his most impressive performance this season was against Werder Bremen. To set the stage, Bayer Leverkusen needed to win this match to secure the Bundesliga title for the first time in club history, after Bayern had previously dropped points earlier in the week. Granit Xhaka, who is not known to be a big game player, absolutely showed up playing one of the best games of his life, and then would score an absolute laser of a goal to extend Bayer Leverkusen's lead, and ultimately win the Bundesliga in the end. Granit Xhaka then became a club legend, as he went from a questionable signing to one of the most valuable players for Leverkusen in the 2023-24 season. Overall, Granit Xhaka has had a roller coaster of a career, from excelling in Switzerland and Germany to a very tough spell at Arsenal, to then returning to Germany and absolutely dominating the Bundesliga. Xhaka has become a world-class midfielder, 